Hey, hi everyone. In this video, we will be seeing how we can create a PDF file in Node.js applications. So, for creating the PDF file itself, we will be using a library called PDF Kit. It is a JavaScript library and it is open source. So, you can freely use it in your projects. Okay. So, just create a Node.js uh, project in Visual Studio Code. As you can see, I have, I have already created the project. And also, I have installed both of the packages, uh, namely um, PDF Kit and also the Node Mod. So uh, the command is simple: npm install PDF Kit and command uh, npm install Node Mod. Okay, these two. Also, you can uh, you have to create two folders, namely images and files. Inside the files folder, we will be creating the PDF file itself, and inside images folder, I have two images image1.jpg and image2.jpg both of this image i will be using for uh, i will be using in the pdf file itself so okay uh, let's start by writing the code cons pdf kit okay and then cons fs uh, this is the file string. Uh, file string. We'll be using file string for creating the file itself. So uh, function create sample PDF and call this method over here in this. Okay. So now string equal to fs dot create write string and then specify the full, uh, file part where you want to create the file itself so uh, this one will be sample.pdf this one will be created inside this folder okay so now uh, let's pdf equal to pdf and then pdf.file and string PDF dot and like this and then console dot log PDF created successfully. So this code will be creating a blank PDF file at the specified location in this folder with name sample dot PDF. So we will start by uh, adding a simple text to our file. So it will be PDF text uh, dot text I mean hello world. And then you have to specify the x and y coordinate of your line. So I will be using find file. Okay, um, just run this command. Uh, run this uh, file line. PDF created successfully. Uh, inside this folder, the file will be created. Okay. As you can see, hello world. So now we will be um, changing the font family, font colors and also the font uh, size. So uh, the, this library supports some inbuilt font families as you can see over here. Uh, all these fonts are uh, supported by this library by, by default. We will be using two of this font. Uh, let's see. Uh, So now we'll be adding that font uh, to our PDF file. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting by adding the bold font first. The font would be bold font, and the text would be this. And five comma. Let's say um, how do you say fifteen? Okay. And the font would be again normal font. And the text would be something and five comma twenty five, I guess. Uh, no, thirty. And the text would be this text. So this one would be like answer equal to this. And then this uh, the answer will be going over here. Okay. 
hope you find this video successfully. Okay, uh, so now we'll be changing the text color to something else. Let's pick this color and um, we can change text color by specifying the fill color before the text, uh, adding the text itself. And okay, so if you see the, this one now, so the text color is changed already. Okay. So this way you can use different layer, different font family and also specify the font size and also the color of your font or of your text I mean okay so now we'll be adding some images to our file so pdf.image and then specify the image uh, part where the image is stored actually so images slash image one dot jpg and then specify the x and y coordinate again of your uh, what is it image so this one will be 70 and then you can also specify the width width would be 150 and height of the image okay and i will be also adding another image as well so images slash image 2 dot jpg and this one will be uh, 350 comma the ha the x uh, the y coordinate would be same because i want the both the images to uh, to be aligning on the both on the same axis i mean would be 150 okay so let's see what is the output like it's kind of overlapping but yeah it worked okay so um, just change it to 150 is Yeah. So, okay. This way you can also um, add the image to your video file. Okay. Now we'll be adding a new page. Add page. So this will be adding a blank PDF uh, page, new page. I mean to your video file. Okay. So now let's add a blank rectangle. Uh, blank box you can say x would be uh, x coordinate would be 5 and the uh, y coordinate would be 50, uh, 20 and then you have to specify the width of your uh, box and also the height and also the stroke color stroke color is basically the border color which you want to use so i will be using the black color As you can see a blank uh, box is created so now i will be adding the uh, text inside this box so i will be using answer and then uh, seven and then let's see uh, it's 20 it is starting at 20 so i'll be specifying 25 okay so uh, a text would be added to uh, inside of the box okay as you can see now lastly i will be adding one uh, what to say link to my pdf file parallel codes and this one will be link link will be https parallelcodes.com and the fill color would be let's pick uh, some different color So this uh, this will be adding a blank uh, what is uh, sorry a link to your video file as you can see parallel codes. So if I click on that, it will be redirecting me to the uh, specified URL for that text. So yeah, this way you can create a PDF file in Node.js applications. Uh, in the future video, I will be explaining how you can create an invoice uh, using Node.js. I'm sorry, using PDF in Node.js. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.